Hi everyone, welcome, and these are your angelic guidance for December the 5th to December the 11th. Blessings everyone. These are your angelic messages and guidance from the angels. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we are offering an angelic Reiki workshop class, which is one of the most profound experiences that you can experience. I myself have been a angelic Reiki master for a few months now, but I got certified as an angelic Reiki practitioner last year. So I've been doing this for two years. And it really has enabled me to really tap in to the energy of the angels. It is something that you feel. It's like a like an emotion or an expression, like a color. It 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 has a distinct flow, a distinct feeling to it. And that is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if anyone is interested out there, make sure you reach out, send me a message, or give me a call. Anything that you want to ask or anything you want to learn about the angels, we are here to assist you in your spiritual journey. So first of all, I would like to... Um, I am working with these cards. I've been working with these cards for about a month. They're Kyle Grace cards. They're the angel prayer cards. And these cards have really resonated with me. Uh, not only does the artwork really uh, connect with me, and and um, it this particular set of deck of cards, it, it just, it is just very magical to me. This is what they look like. If anybody out there is interested in uh, looking him up, he is an amazing teacher and he is amazing at what he does. I actually recently bought a book called Angel, Angel Prayers by Kyle Gray. And I'll actually be sharing a little prayer that uh, my angels wanted to bring forward. Lately, there's been, a, there seems to be a theme about fear and overcoming fear and worry it seems like there's a a karmic debt that is finally paying off i feel that we're forgiving and we're letting go of the past anything that our ancestors have done that have created karma that affect is, has affected all of our lineage but us up to now I feel we are in a point where we are transmuting that these are the times we have been waiting for our ancestors our guides our teachers from the other side are cheering us on they are very proud of our, all of our growth and our transformation so Shift, shifting gears, I am going to go into the cards as I shuffle. I call in Archangel Michael to assist and oversee this reading. That the information that I share be universal. That everyone watching this video can benefit and receive the message, the guidance that they need in this moment. So beginning with Monday, Tuesday, the first card that comes up is Archangel Gabriel. Speak your truth. You see she has a, a crown piece, a crown. Yes, she's a warrior goddess. This is about owning your divinity, owning your voice, your creativity, your expression empowering others by being you. Archangel Gabriel is helping you to speak with integrity, but also with confidence. If you feel that you are lacking in confidence or you're 
feeling fearful or stressed out, I want you to call in your angels and ask them for assistance. They are always waiting for us on the sidelines. They're ready for us to call them in so they can do their work. They're here to be messengers, but they're also here to assist us in our growth. For those of us that are healers, there are healing angels that assist us with our healing. Those that are speakers, they, there's also angels that help us be articulate speakers and be confident in the way we carry ourselves so that our message can come across smoothly and freely so that everyone can benefit from these words. Shifting the energy from Tuesday Monday, Tuesday, into Wednesday, Thursday. We have trustworthy friends. Know that you are in a group, in a tribe. You are surrounded by people who love and genuinely care for you. Continue to surround yourself with like-minded people who support your growth, who encourage you to be the best that you can be. When you surround yourself with people who love you unconditionally, you really experience a transformation. Your life can change in one moment, in one instant, in one experience. All it takes is for you to open up, open your heart, and surround yourself in an environment that feeds your soul, that feels your, that feeds your spirit. Know that you have trustworthy friends around you and it is okay for you to receive help and guidance from these friends. Anytime somebody shows up in your reality, in your doorway, in your world, they are there to teach you a lesson. They are there to bring you something to enhance and expand your life. Honor that. So moving into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's when we will have the Angelic Reiki class. We have Express Your Creativity. A lot of blue, a lot of communication, a lot of expressiveness, a lot of art, dance, music. This is about honoring your divinity as a creator. We are co-creators. You are here to co-create with your brothers and sisters. It is time for us to stand up for ourselves and stand up for what we believe in. But not only that, the sacredness of spirit, the sacredness of the human race, the sacredness of Mother Earth. We must continue to empower others and bring this knowledge, this information. We live in the new times of information. We are in the Aquarian age. Things are definitely shifting. We are living in new times. I want you to surrender to this. Allow it to be. Know that when you are fearful and scared, you are learning to become fearless. This is your lesson with fear. If you're allowing fear to rule your life, Fear, I would like to share a little pocket of wisdom that today Janice shared with me and thank you for sharing that. That anger, anytime somebody is angry and they're projecting something to you, it is because they're fearful, they are scared. In other words, for example, you are a first grader and it's your first time going to a new school and you are so afraid that it makes you paralyzed. So when people try to approach you and be friendly, you latch out in anger and you're like, what do you want? Or leave me alone. And that actually is your fear. You're scared. You have to honor how you're feeling, your emotion. So then we can understand what fear is. So then, once we understand what fear is, we become fearless. No longer are we suppressed or 
we no longer let fear rule us. So I like to pull out one more card and this card will symbolize the theme for this weekend. I have been experiencing such wonderful times these past two weeks. A lot of synchronistic events, a lot of miracles you would say. I just, I feel very at ease and comfortable. I feel that my faith has fully been restored. I really feel my connection with spirit and my angels. My angels work with me every day. When I wake up in the morning, I ask for their assistance. I pray for the sick. I pray for my family and my friends. Always praying for others, also for myself, but always being unselfish. Praying for the loved ones, praying for the people that need prayers. Prayer is a very universal thing that comes from different religions, different spiritual, spiritual groups, different cultures. Prayer is the most powerful medicine you can encounter if you can learn how to apply it and utilize it on a daily basis. So the theme for this week is honor your beauty. Archangel Yofiel. This is honoring all aspects of you, the feminine and the masculine, the ugly and the beautiful, the right and the wrong, all of those things. Before we go, I would like to share with you this little prayer and this is from the angel prayers Kyle's Gray harnessing the help of heaven to create miracles and this particular prayer affirmation call it what you will it is to restore your faith this past month I have been reminded so much about keeping the faith to really believing and allowing the miracles to manifest in my reality so I want to share with you this little prayer and you can say it out loud or you can just listen to it you can pause rewind and just say it a few times I want you to take this little pocket of wisdom and utilize it for you for the next seven days and all you have to do is listen to it or say it out loud and it goes a little bit like this this will help you increase your faith thank you dear angels for allowing me to see hear and feel more clearly so that I can increase not only my faith in you, but also my faith in myself. Thank you, God, for constantly reminding me of your presence in my life. I don't, I know I don't travel this journey alone, and I am grateful that my angel companions are with me and that you are in my heart. Keep the faith. Know that God, the angels, your guides are always with you to bring you blessings and the most benevolent outcome for everyone involved. For the greater good of all, and as long as it brings harm to none. We choose to work with only angelic beings who hold the highest resonance of light and love. So thank you for tuning in. Till we meet again. 
Have a glorious day and a wonderful weekend. Blessings.